So today on the episode with the Hardcore Iron Man Pure, I've been working on getting up the foundations for the account. I wanted to get birdhouses and I wanted to start doing herb runs. I don't know why, but I'm just really looking forward to herb lore and farming. I don't know why, it's just for some reason this it seems like it's going to be fun farming a bunch of herbs and making a bunch of potions. So that's kind of the main thing I've had in mind and what I've been kind of working on. Uh, on this account, so let's kind of go through all the updates. I'm just gonna commentate over clips uh, like the last video I think I did this as well. It's a different style uh, from my main videos, but I kind of like it better. It is a little bit more annoying to make because I have to go and commentate over all the clips after I've already recorded them when normally I just already have the audio done once it's done being recorded. But the live commentary to me seems to, it gets a little monotonous and repetitive. It's like, here's when I got 60 mining. Here's when I got 50 hunter. Here's when I got this. And it's just over and over and over. Uh, just having commentary like this, it feel, I feel like it kind of flows better. And it's just, it's a lot more enjoyable to listen to, at least if you've listened to a lot of videos um, with like how I do it with my main account. It gets old after a while. So I started out doing Bone Voyage and I also did a little bit of crafting so I could make some jewelry. I did my crafting by buying soda ash and buckets of sand over at the charter ships over at Port Cazard. And then with the soda ash and buckets of sand, I turned that into molten glass and then I glass blew that into the highest glass stuff that I could make. Um, after that, I went and cursed my magic over at the Zami Mages, one of my favorite spots for early magic levels. You don't need negative 65 magic bonus because you can get a bunch of them stacked up, so then there's usually always one that you can curse even if you land one on a few of them. And I think they like have a faster restoration of their stats or something because you can land a cast on them and then within like 20 seconds you can cast it on them again. So even without negative 65 magic bonus, you're always able to use the spell on them. So I wanted some jewelry, so I just, for my gems, I went to the Alcariad uh, gem shop and then I just hopped worlds and bought them there. I think I bought a few in Ardy, the Ardy gem shop as well. My cash pile is from doing the Agility Pyramid. There's a lot of uh, competition for the shops, so I'm probably going to be doing... I'm going to be getting my gems and just other stuff in general. Uh, I'm going to try and get stuff from places other than shops, unless the shop is just way better. Um, but for gems in the future, I'm probably going to just spend like 10 hours mining a bunch of gems at Shiloh. And I should probably get enough gems to last for me for a long time. In order to make the jewelry, I had to get 40 smithing so that I could smelt gold ore, so that took a little bit of time. And I did that by buying iron ore at the Blast Furnace, I think, and then I just smelted the iron there, and then I took the iron bars over to Varrock uh, Anvil, and I just smithed them there into arrow tips. And after that, I did do a little bit of construction, because once again, the main thing I'm going for right now is birdhouses. So... In order to do birdhouses, I needed a clockwork, and to get a clockwork, I needed a construction level. So I went and got 25 construction, made a workbench, and made some clockwork so I could start doing birdhouses. Then I went over to Zaya, and I made fertilizer, which would get my Hosidius favor up. I wanted to get favor up to like 25%, I think, in order to thieve from the stalls in the Hosidius area. That is the best farming, I mean, the best thieving experience up until like 45, I think. And you can get some useful herbs, you get strange fruits, which restore run energy. So that's what I did do for my thieving up to 45. Um, I ended up getting like 100 strange fruit or something like that. And then I went to do the feud. I should have done the feud earlier on, but I forgot. And when you do the feud, it unlocks like the best thieving method of all, except for like pyramid plunder once you hit 91 plus. But it's extremely good blackjacking. So I did that, unlocked that method, and then I wanted to get the better blackjacks, so I uh, did the little mini quest that allows you to buy blackjacks, the better ones. And I also did the one with Ali Morrison that allows you to buy runes off of him. And then next up, I blackjacked to 50 thieving, and with 50 thieving plus like my 70 agility, I was able to go and get my rogue equipment. So went and did that over in the rogues den. And the cool thing about this set effect, or this set, is it has an effect that allows you to get double loot when pickpocketing things. The main reason why I want this set is because I'm going to be doing a lot of pickpocketing uh, for the seeds for birdhouses because you need um, hop seeds. I will be getting all of those from Master Farmers. I will also be getting a lot of herb seeds from Master Farmers, so I'm going to be doing lots of that need this set. And I think I got fairly lucky with it. It didn't take me too long, like maybe a couple hours or something. 
And then with that said, I went back to blackjacking and I got up to 60 thieving, which actually got me a pretty good cash stack. And then at that point, I was thinking about maybe just going and doing Master Farmers right then. But then like I always do, I changed my mind and I went back and did a little bit more blackjacking and I got to level 75 thieving. And I actually ended up making about 1 mil GP just from blackjacking, so that was pretty cool. And I figured if I do 99 thieving there, it will get me around 11 mil. So that's actually a pretty big cash stack. I can do a lot with that. So I may be doing that in the future because 100% success rate on Master Farmers is extremely helpful and I can't do the RD hard diary, I think. So the only way I can get 100% success rate on Master Farmers is if I get level 99 thieving and get the thieving cape. So at level 75, I went over to the Master Farmers and I thieved them for, I was aiming for enough um, hop seeds to do 200 birdhouses, which would be 2000 plus total hop seeds. I ended up getting like 20 Ranars, Ranar seeds plus like 70 something Guam seeds and a bunch of other herb seeds in that time. So once I had those seeds, I was ready to start doing birdhouses and I pretty much always do birdhouses after that point. I also try and have a kitten or a cat around with me all the time. I've been growing those so that I can get some death runes later on. The birdhouses are extremely nice. One of the main reasons why I want to get those early on is because they're just a passive thing that you just spend a little amount of time on and they get you lots of bird nests which have uh, seeds, uh, tree seeds in them which give lots of farming experience. And the bird, bird nests themselves can be used for brews later on once I have higher herb. So by the time I have uh, like 81 herb lore, I will probably already have like 10k nests or something in the bank just from bird nests or bird houses. And the higher farming that I get from using the tree seeds I get off the nests, that will help me get higher yields of herbs off the herb patches. So once I had the bird houses unlocked and I started doing them, I moved on to the next thing. I went over to Zaya once again and I got 100% favor in the Hosidius house so I could start getting favor in the other houses if I wanted to. Um, so I got to the point where I could do the mess hall by making fertilizer and then I moved on to the mess hall. And in the mess hall you basically make one of three different dishes and then you serve it and it gives you cooking experience and favor really easily. And the next for birdhouses I needed to have logs, lots of logs that you use to make the birdhouses. Um, and I wanted to have a better axe than a steel axe. There's a few different ways I could have gone about getting a better axe, but I just decided I would go and get a rune axe from the woodcutting guild. So I needed 60 woodcutting. So I did all my woodcutting up to level 60 on the oak trees just outside the Sears bank. Um, banked all the oak logs. That did take a good amount of time. I just pretty much AFK'd it. Ended up with uh, over 4.5k oak logs, I think. And I went and got my rune axe, so that is done. I have the best axe in the game besides dragon axe. Then I used the sawmill at the woodcutting guild to make 1,600 oak planks, which I used to get 50 construction. The reason why I chose that place to make my planks is because um, there's the best way you can make planks is by having your demon butler change your logs into planks, but you need 50 construction to even have a demon butler, so that was off. I tried to have my maid or whatever turn logs into planks, but she actually didn't have that ability. I'm not sure at what uh, servant they unlock that ability, but I just decided that I would do those 1600 at the woodcutting guild because it is pretty quick. It's, I think, less than an hour to do 1600 planks. So I used those planks, that got me 50 construction, which is actually a pretty big deal because that unlocks me lots of stuff. Um, I think I have a few lecterns that I can make, which will allow me to make teleport tablets. I, have, I can make a chapel and make a prayer altar. I can make a portal room for teleport portals, whatever they're called. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of like low-level stuff that I can make now, so that's pretty helpful. One of the, actually one of the major things I didn't mention was the amulet of glory, the infinite teleport spot that you can make, the mounted glory. Uh, I can't charge amulet of glories on this account because you have to do hero's quest, and that gives you defense experience. So I can't do that until I go zerker. So until then, I'm just going to have lots of glories that are uncharged or used up, whatever. I'm not sure if, when you make them, I'm not sure if it charges them. They, like, are made just charged. If not, whenever I have to use a glory teleport, it's probably always going to have to just be in my house. And that is it for this episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed. 
There's gonna be lots of good content coming out on this account. PVMing with 13 defense, can't die. I think it's gonna be pretty fun and pretty exciting. Catch you guys in the next video.